Now let's talk real quick about marketing in English to other countries. Now maybe you're already doing this. So if you target other countries than the primary English speaking countries, let's say maybe you are targeting France and Germany and Switzerland and some other European countries, for example, or Singapore, or even uh, some, you know, Japan, even other countries where you know English isn't the first language, but maybe you're already running ads uh, in those countries and you should be testing them because it's very, very important. So you can look to expand your traffic generation into these non-English countries, um, the, the ones that are generating conversions for your business. If you take a look at your shopping cart data right now, and, and you should be doing this on a regular basis, have someone run a report uh, or you do it yourself if you know how to do it yourself from your shopping cart data and look and see where the orders for your business come from and what countries you know they those orders fall into and by what percent and you'll be surprised that you'll often find uh, like for me and many of the projects I work with as well whether they're my own or whether they're clients I've consulted for a lot of times these days we'll see about a 50 50 split of United States orders to uh, many other parts of Europe. So half will come from the US and then the other half outside of the US. So many people will only target uh, the US market for certain types of products and services. And they're really missing out on so many other uh, sales. In fact, I find that some of our best buyers come from uh, the United Kingdom, other European countries, even some Asian countries, where people often spend more money than certain uh, Americans will on certain products and how certain product funnels convert. So you can expand your marketing by simply just running ads and generating traffic uh, in some of these you know, other countries where English isn't the first language. Because the thing to always keep in mind is, you know, there are many English speakers in other countries. Because it's English is considered, for example, like the world's language, um, you can expand your marketing by testing running ads in these other countries, doing everything exactly the same that you that you are, you know, when you target ads and do things for the USA, the UK, Australia, so on and so forth. So think about running some tests and expanding into some of these other countries by still using your English marketing. This is what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about translating anything or doing anything different, but simply running ads to those other country markets. Like I said, if you look at your shopping cart data, you'll see some trends where you're making some sales and you're getting customers for your business, depending of course on what it is that you sell, uh, people from other countries. Well, whatever those countries are, try to get more of those people from those countries. So therefore, run some Facebook ads and, and you know separate the ad sets out and target those specific countries. Run some other AdWords ads and target those specific countries. And you'll find uh, that you can often get traffic cheaper. The conversions will be similar. Um, and the lifetime value of the customer sometimes can be even higher when you generate sales from people in other countries using the exact same marketing that you're using now. So something to keep in mind, look at your stats, look and see where your sales are coming from. And it's simply a process of doing more of what works. And so if you see some sales coming from different countries, push harder in those areas to get more sales. And it's one of the fastest and easiest ways to grow the revenue and of course profit in your business.